Well, 
perception, but I understand what people mean by it. Like, they're just trying to say how most people would rate a person, right? There are going to be a lot of 10s around the city, a lot of 11s, pretty much, and you can absolutely stand out from them. Even if you believe that you weren't naturally blessed, all you have to do is get a little bit creative and do some research, okay? And you can get there, you can do it. If you are getting called ugly a lot, let me ask you this. Have you tried exercising, getting some fresh air, getting some sunlight, whitening your teeth, straightening teeth, brushing your teeth, flossing them, maybe wearing contacts or glasses that suit your face shape a little bit better, maybe putting on a little bit of makeup or getting your feet done. Have you tried researching a different hairstyle, maybe trying to switch it up and do something that uh, suits your face, asking people questions about your appearance, just so that you have an understanding of other people and their perception of you and you know it's not that you have to rely on the exterior you don't have to be so cold-blooded and you don't have to make other people's opinions of you the whole basis and the whole reason for your makeover right you want it to sort of be a combination of those two you want it to be personal reasons oh, you want it to be personal reasons and you want those personal reasons and that style to be influenced by you by you as an individual what do you like to do what kind of style do you like to convey the way that we express ourselves with fashion and the way that we take care of our appearances tells people a lot subconsciously i'm not talking about the you know the immediate things that they're verbally saying about you i'm talking about subconsciously deeply within their minds when they see a person when a, somebody sees a person who's well put together immediately immediately assume that that person has more respect for themselves that that person has it together in other realms of their life so if you try brushing your hair when you get out the door that's something you don't typically Maybe try adding an, an extra shower to your day if you don't always shower. Different things like that. Different things that you could do to level up your hygiene, to level up your appearance. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to spend a lot of money. But maybe figure out what we can do about your wardrobe to make it a little bit different from other people's, right? A lot of people, they like to put forth the message that they can't really be bothered to care. And so they wear really plain outfits, um, really plain colors. And they sort of just look like everybody else. some eccentric pieces to your wardrobe. I'm going to show you an eccentric piece that I really like. I remember when I used to only wear beiges and grays and just neutral, just boring, 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 boring. Now I have, for the Miami video, and because I'm going to be swimming, I'm going to be swimming at the pool, I have a really cool, like, metallic, all this stuff. You want to add in little pops of color. You like black. You like black. Add in a little bit of red underneath. Add in a little bit of something that gives you a little bit more duality, a little bit more dimension, okay, to your color palette and to your wardrobe and to your whole style. Maybe consider tucking in your shirt as well. You know, if you're a woman, what men see or what people who are attracted to you see, if it's a woman and she's attracted to you, what they're looking at when it comes to your body, the first thing, your waist to hip ratio if you're a woman. If you're a man, what women are looking at or what gay men are looking at, what people who are attracted to you are looking at is your shoulder to hip ratio. You know, I said it was the waist to hip. They're looking at your shoulder to waist or your shoulder to hip ratio, okay? And you could start going to the gym. You could start 
experience. 